Megazyme provides an extensive range of assay kits for use in various assay formats, including auto-analyzer, microplate, and manual spectrophotometer. This ethanol assay kit can be used to accurately measure ethanol in various sample types throughout industries such as food and beverages. This video tutorial will demonstrate the use of the kit with a wine sample using the manual spectrophotometer format. It is important to measure ethanol in wine as it is produced naturally during fermentation. Alcohol content influences the body of the wine and must be reported on the label in all major markets. This kit contains sufficient reagents for either 60 or 120 manual assays and is supplied with a detailed data booklet. This assay is specific for the measurement of ethanol. The order of addition of reagents during the assay removes any possible interference from aldehydes and ketones. The principle of the enzymatic reactions involved in the measurement of ethanol is shown in this figure. The detection of ethanol requires two enzymatic reactions. In the first reaction, ethanol is oxidized to acetaldehyde by alcohol dehydrogenase. As the equilibrium of the first reaction favours ethanol and NAD, a second reaction, catalyzed by aldehyde dehydrogenase, is required to drive the first reaction to completion. The amount of NADH formed in this coupled reaction is stoichiometric with twice the amount of ethanol in the cuvette. The NADH is measured by the increase in absorbance at 340 nanometers. As with all enzymatic ethanol assays, Megazyme's ethanol kit is extremely sensitive. Equipment contaminated with very small amounts of ethanol or even ethanol absorbed by the assay reagents from the atmosphere will adversely affect the assay results. Therefore, certain precautions must be taken when performing the assay, especially in environments such as wineries where large quantities of ethanol or other primary alcohols are present. For more details regarding these precautions, please visit the Ethanol Kit Frequently Asked Questions section on our website. Prior to sample analysis, the kit components should be prepared as described in the kit data booklet. And once prepared, they are ready for use in the manual assay procedure. All of the kit components except bottles 2 and 5 are used as supplied. The contents of bottle 2 are dissolved in 12.4 ml of distilled water. The bottle is capped and the contents are mixed thoroughly to ensure a complete dissolution. To use bottle 5, the kit standard, dilute 0.5 ml of its contents to 50 ml with distilled water. and mix thoroughly. Follow the manual assay procedure as described in the data booklet. Pipette all assay components except the final trigger enzyme in bottle 4 into each assay tube. A blank reaction and a standard reaction must be performed with each batch of samples. Pipette 2.0 ml of distilled water into all assay tubes. Add an additional 0.1 ml of distilled water into blank assay tube. Add 0.1 ml of sample to all sample assay tubes.
add 0.1 milliliters of prepared kit standard to the standard assay tube. Pet 0.2 milliliters of solution one into all assay tubes. Pet 0.2 milliliters of solution 2 into all assay tubes. Swirl to mix the contents of bottle 3. Carefully pipette 50 microliters of solution 3 into all assay tubes. This enzyme can be quite viscous, so ensure pipetting is accurate. When all of the components have been added, mix the tube contents thoroughly and incubate the tubes in the 37 degrees Celsius heating block for approximately two minutes. After two minutes, record the first absorbance reading A1 at 340 nanometers for all of the acid tubes. In this demonstration, we are using the Megaquant Wave spectrophotometer set to read at 340 nanometers. Alternatively, a recording spectrophotometer with 1 cm path length cuvettes can be used. Swirl to mix the contents of bottle 4 prior to dispensing. After recording the A1 absorbance value, prepare 20 microliters of the trigger enzyme, alcohol dehydrogenase, into all assay tubes. Mix the tubes thoroughly and incubate them at 37 degrees Celsius for 5 minutes to allow the reaction to go to completion. Record the absorbance reading A2 for all of the acid tubes. This absorbance reading completes the measurement of ethanol. The absorbance readings A1 and A2 of the sample and the blank reactions are used to calculate the ethanol concentrations in the original samples. When performing this test using the pre-installed protocol on the Megaquant Wave Spectrophotometer, the results will be automatically calculated and printed via the onboard printer, or the data can be exported to a computer using the SF Capture software. Please see our Megaquant Wave video for further details. If the results output are raw absorbance values for both blank and samples, the calculations of ethanol content can be performed manually as described in the calculation section of the kit booklet. Megazyme has also developed specific Excel-based MegaCalc applications for each Megazyme kit to allow quick and easy results analysis. Results can be analysed using the MegaCalc application specific to this ethanol kit, which is available to download free of charge from the Megazyme website. The MegaCalc spreadsheet provides full instructions for use. Open the MegaCalc worksheet and input the following. Sample details. Absorbance readings for the blanks. 
for each sample input the sample identifier and the absorbance values for the samples. Alter the sample volume if a volume other than the default 0.1 milliliters is used. If dilution of the sample has been performed, then input the dilution factor used. If no further dilution was performed, the dilution factor is 1. When all of the data has been entered, the concentration of ethanol in the sample is automatically calculated and given as grams per litre in the original sample. For solid samples, input the concentration of the original sample extract in grams per litre. The concentration of ethanol in the solid samples is then automatically calculated and provided as grams per 100 gram in the original sample.